This year for us on, on the film programme side, there's two, two main areas that connect with Michael Rosen's interests. One is 1930s Berlin, and the other is uh, a couple of screenings that relate to Emil and the Detectives, one of Michael's favourite books. We've got a screening of a 1935 British version of Emil and the Detectives, so made just four years after the original film. Um, it was missing, sort of believed lost for many years, but was quite recently rediscovered and has been restored also by the BFI. Um, and the action in that is transposed from Berlin to, to London, and it's, in, in, it's an English language film. And we're also screening Hue and Cry, which was the very first Ealing comedy uh, made in London in 1947. And that's very influenced by Emile and the Detectives and is about a group of streetwise London children who uh, sort of work together to uh, crack a, a criminal gang. We're delighted to be able to present a very rare screening of all 15 and a half hours of Berlin Alexanderplatz. It was made by Rainer Werner Fassbender for German television in 1980, and it's based on the classic novel of the same name and was adapted by Fassbender. Um, obviously, it's rarely seen in cinemas, partly because of its length, 15 and a half hours. Uh, and it's interesting showing it now, I think, because we British audiences have kind of got used to foreign language television, uh, perhaps through things like Borgen and The Killing on BBC Four on a Saturday evening. So it's, it feels a very interesting time f for that reason and many others to, to represent the film and to screen it again. It was um, remastered um, and restored a few years ago, so this is the, the first screening since, since that restoration. Well, we're also delighted to be able to screen People on Sunday, which was a very influential 1930 documentary, which launched the careers of Billy Wilder and Fred Zinnemann and a number of others. Um, it's, it's a beautiful, beautiful documentary, or semi-documentary, um, and we're presenting it with a live score from Neil Brand, who's recognised as one of the leading uh, film, silent film accompanists, so he's providing a live piano score. This year we're working again with House, and, uh, and artist open houses. And House's lead artist is Marila Neudecker, um, a wonderful visual artist who is creating two exhibitions in the festival. We've co-commissioned a piece in the Regency Townhouse, and, uh, and that really looks at Marila's uh, concern with the natural world um, and the North and South Poles, and, uh, and is a, a fantastic experience in Regency Townhouse right across the levels of, of the townhouse. And also a new exhibition at, uh, at Lighthouse looking at um, some of her work that concerns particularly military installations and refers back to the theme of, of disappearance and loss. The third exhibition that uh, we're collaborating with Fabrica this time on is a, uh, as a very special Finnish artist, Karina Kaikonen. And her work uses materials um, from everyday life. Um, uh, in this particular instance, shirts, jackets, clothing, um, that will be both in Fabrica in a very special installation and uh, an outdoor location. And some of her work outdoors is completely magical and really uh, nostalgic and, uh, and quite melancholic as well. Really important to Brighton Festival each year are our outdoor events. There are 22 free events across the festival this year and some magnificent outdoor experiences. Um, Complex Carfenaum uh, bring Figa Libra, which is a promenade piece across the city. We've also Oxford Contemporary Music uh, bringing audible machines and Bad Company with Faust. Um, there are a whole range of outdoor works, in fact, in collaboration with uh, Without Walls, a really important partnership for us. And, uh, and we know that audiences really love these experiences, which explore all sorts of different parts of the city and play out across our extraordinary city.